In this section, we are going to build an AI chatbot using the new Llama Model 2 from Meta, Next.js, and Tailwind CSS. The method that we are going to use is very simple, and it allows the non-technical people to develop a fully functional chatbot web application too. We will deploy our web app using the Versal SDK, and we will be able to access it from anywhere on the web for free. Oh Llama Model 2 is a large language model developed by Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram. This model has been made open source and its performance is comparable with GPT-4 from OpenAI. The fact that it is open source means that we can use it for free. First, let's start with the prerequisites. We need to have a Hugging Face account to generate an API key. Then, we need to have an account with Vercel. After that, we will use Git to push our code to a repo and deploy it automatically by linking it to Vercel. Therefore, you will also need to have Git installed on your machine. The last thing you need to install is Node.js. Let's start with the first prerequisite. Hugging Face is a huge repository of open source machine learning models. It's like the GitHub of machine learning. From large language models to very specific models that can detect diseases in pictures. You can find anything here. Meta announced that they've added their model here. And you can try it out by visiting huggingface.co slash chat. We need an account here to be able to use this model. To open an account with Hugging Face, navigate to huggingface.co and click on sign up. You will then need to provide the details of your account like username, email address, and password. After you finish creating your account, log in and go to the icon that corresponds to your user. Click on it and select settings. Then on the left-hand side, navigate to access tokens. You will need to generate a new access token that will enable you to use the Llama model in your app. Once you generate it, Let's proceed to the next step, creating an account on the Vercel website. Vercel is a cloud platform for static sites and serverless functions. It provides developers with an efficient way to deploy, scale, and manage their applications with ease. One of the standout features of Vercel is its ability to offer instantaneous deployment by linking to a Git repository, which allows updates to go live as soon as changes are pushed. The process is really simple. Just go to versal.com and click sign up. Follow the steps there and open the free account. Once you've done that, make sure to have Git installed as well. We will use Git to push our code to GitHub in order to deploy it to Versal. To install Git is fairly easy. Just Google download Git, click on the first link, choose your operating system and install it on your computer. Now, it's time to do some coding. First, let's navigate to the directory where you wish to start your project. We are going to use the Versal AI SDK to get started. This SDK enables us to use a template that has everything we need already installed. Things like Tailwind CSS or the connection to the Hugging Face API. With the following command, we will create a new directory with all the files we need to kickstart the development of our app. Let's analyze the command for a second. npx create next app will create the barebone structure of a Next.js app for us. The example argument allows us to add a repo as an example. We are going to use the template provided by Next.js specifically created for Hugging Face. This will have everything we need to interact with the Hugging Face API. The next part of the command is the name of the new project. Based on this name, a new directory will be created, and it will contain all the files we need for the chatbot. I will call it Hugging Face Chatbot. Let's run it. After some time, we can see that the directory with the name that we specified in the command has been created on our machine. We see all the necessary files we need to create this web app. We will need to modify a few things before we can build it. Let's open the project in Visual Studio Code so we can see the files and edit them easily. First, we need to modify our .nv file. Let's open the one called nv local example. Let's add the Hugging Face API key here. Next, let's rename the file to delete the example keyword. Without doing this, the program won't be able to read the variable. Next thing we need to modify is in the app API chat directory. Let's open the root JS file. Here, if we scroll to the place where the response is defined, we will see the model variable. By default, it is set to a different large language model that is provided by Hugging Face. We need to modify it with the following. See the details of the model on the screen right now. Feel free to pause the video to edit the model yourself. And that's it. Now let's create a GitHub repo and link it to our Versal account. 
In your GitHub account, let's create a new repository. We will call it the same as our newly created project. Let's copy the HTTPS value from the repo. We will use it in our next step. On our computer, let's navigate to the folder where we want to have our project. Next, we run this command. Git clone and the link we copied previously. Wait a few seconds. Now, we will copy all the files from our project in the newly created folder that was added by the git clone command. Let's run the following actions after all the files are copied. Git add. Git commit. And git push origin main. Fantastic. Now if we go to Vercel, let's link our repo to the platform. To do this, we need to press on add new and project on the main page. You will be prompted to choose one of your GitHub repositories from here. If you don't have your GitHub account linked to Vercel, now it's time to do it. After adding it, you also need to add the Hugging Face API key as an environment variable to the build. After doing so, you can click Deploy, and you will see that the project is compiled, built, and it will be deployed on a Vercel free domain. You can now access it and test it. Let's try to ask it a few questions like tell me the best 10 books to learn data science from. And you can see the model responds which means that our app is now working as expected. Now it's time to give our chatbot a purpose. Let's say we are in the influencer business and we want to create a chatbot that can define and drive social media campaigns to our customers. For this, we are going to use prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is a new emerging field in the AI space. With prompt engineering, you can steer large language models to perform specialized tasks more efficiently. We all know that if we ask ChatGPT to create a poem for us, it will create one that is not at all special. However, if we assign it a role, like act as a top poet, write me a poem, the result will be entirely different. Not only will the quality of the poem be different, but the AI will become suddenly more creative. This doesn't apply only to poems, it can be extended to any area, like coding or writing blogs. To find out more about prompt engineering, I recommend you my course. Moving on, we are going to use the same technique for our chatbot too. To do so, let's create our prompt first. We will create it as follows. Act as a top social media manager. You are an expert on growing the social media accounts of people. If someone asks you something totally unrelated to social media, you will respond with a generic text saying you are only trained to respond to social media related queries. But if it touches social media, then you should respond. The message is this. This will be appended to all the messages that the user of the chatbot will send. Let's add it in the code, in the same route file, in the post method. I will assign it to a variable called prompt engineering. Then we need to change the messages variable from a constant to a normal variable that can be edited. We need this in order to be able to append our prompt to this message. After that, we need to construct our message object. For this, we are going to use the following. Here's a quick and simple explanation. This code is modifying a list of messages. For each message, if the message is from a user, add the value of prompt engineering at the start of the message content. If it's not from a user and it is from system or assistant, leave the message as it is. After this operation, the messages list will be updated with the changes. Now let's add the method to construct or prompt. I am going to call this function build prompt. This code defines a function called build prompt that takes a list of messages. For each message, it retrieves the message's content, no matter who sent it, whether it's user, system, or assistant. After getting the content of all the messages, it combines them all together into one single string, one after the other, without any spaces in between. The function then returns this combined string. 
Essentially, it's turning a list of message contents into a single concatenated string. Then, we call the build prompt method in the input of the model. So what we've done here is to append this prompt to the input that goes to the Llama model. Let's push this code to GitHub again and wait for Vercel to update the chatbot with the new version. When this is done, let's test the bot by asking it a simple question that is unrelated to social media, like, how are you? We can see that the bot responds, telling us that it is here to respond to our social media queries. We can see that the chatbot's design is pretty dull. We are going to make it a bit more shiny. For this, let's open the app directory and then let's open the page file. Here, I've taken this image from Unsplash. We are going to use it as a background photo for our tool. We are going to add a div on top of the return statement that will contain the following style. For setting up the background image, we will add the link of the Unsplash photo as an argument to this style. We will make it 100 vertical height as we want to have it full height for all the possible devices. We then add another div that will center everything out. Then, let's add a header as the title of our chatbot. As it is related to social media, I am going to call it Viral AI. As Viral AI is not self-explanatory, let's add a level 2 header where we are going to add some explanation of what this tool is about. Something like, your AI social media manager. Ask me anything about growing your social media presence. Then we will add the code for showing the messages. Let's push those changes to GitHub. Wait for Vercel to redeploy our changes. And now, when we go to our chatbot, we can see that the design has changed a lot, making it appealing and less dull as the default version. That's it for this clip. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Until next time, happy coding.